Grandpa Larry here. If you are an old independent soul like me, you may have been frustrated by trying to step up your mast single-handedly on your Hobie getaway. Today, I'll share my simple block and tackle solution, enabling even a 65-year-old grandpa to fly solo. I learned to love sailing when I was 12 years old. By the time I was 16 and had my driver's license, I figured out how to single-handedly step up the mast on my dad's Hobie Cat 16, so then I could sail solo. Recently, I purchased a Hobie getaway to begin sharing my love for sailing with my seven grandkids. I discovered the task of attaching the forestay to the jib furler was a difficult task for a second adult and completely impossible for a grandchild. Here are all the parts you'll need to have a Grandpa Larry block and tackle. First, there are two sailboat parts that you can purchase online. I've included the link below. The first is a standard D shackle with a quarter inch pin. You likely have an extra one of these parts in your toolbox. If not, the part number is listed below. Then second, I also recommend treating yourself to a quarter inch quick release pin to make your life so much better. Now let's talk about the parts for the block and tackle. You can purchase these pieces at any local hardware store. Make sure all the parts you purchase are heavy duty with a 400 pound minimum lifting rating. First, a swivel hook with a spring closure. Second, a swivel pulley. Third, a cam cleat hook with a spring closure. Next, a strong carabiner. Two one inch lashing straps that cinched very tight. And then a 12 foot length of 3 16 inch paracord rated at over 400 pounds. Now I'll show you how to assemble your Grandpa Larry block and tackle. First, tie the cord to the swivel hook. Like a good sailor, use a bowl and knot so it won't slip. Next, feed the cord through the pulley. Next, feed the cord through the back side of the cam cleat hook and through the jaws of the cam cleat. Next, tie a figure eight knot in the end of the line like a good sailor so it won't slip back through the cam cleat. Next, hook the carabiner through the pulley eye Next, feed it straps through the carabiner and through the cam cleat hook. Congratulations, assembly is complete. Now let's go through the three simple steps to strap the block and tackle to the Hobie getaway in preparation for stepping up the mast. Before you begin, have your mast on its side, the mast ball inside the base of the mast, and the step pin fully inserted. Step one, attach the swivel hook to the shackle on the top of the force day adjuster just below the jib. Step two, strap the carabiner block assembly to the middle of the forward cross beam. Step three, Strap the cam cleat hook to the mast about four feet from the base to be shoulder height when the mast is fully raised. Before stepping the mast, pull the extra slack out of the cord through the cam cleat jaws. You are now ready to raise the mast. If you're over 60, take your vitamins and pray for the strength of a young gorilla. Then step up the mast. Once the mast is fully upright, pull the slack out of the block and tackle while locking the cord in the cam cleat jaws. I find it helpful to thrust my shoulder against the mast three times while cinching the cord tight. The mast is now fully supported by the block and tackle. Simply lift the jib furler into position, align the holes, and push in the quick release pin. 
you're finished. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If not, you don't need to comment. I'm just a grandpa flying a hull into the sunset. Thank you.